All right, ladies and gentlemen, the time is now, and this is the second build that I used in the incursion, and it slaps. I can't believe how hard I was hitting. I was in a legendary mission, and I've actually never hit this hard with a skill DPS build. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to put it together. When you have a build idea that goes against anything else out there, but you know it works like a charm, do you abandon it and follow suit, or do you follow through? Well, today, agents, I have something for you that is the complete opposite to what you'd consider a meta DPS build, but almost equally effective with its advantageous versatility and skill usage possibilities that make up for what it lacks in other areas to the sheer excitement this build gives me while I'm using it. It's definitely one you'd want to pick up. The purpose of this build is to be powerful in every single area you decide to entertain. If you want to deal massive DPS with your weapon or harness the power of maxed out skills, the choice is yours. I genuinely feel that this is one of the main ways the Division 2 is truly meant to be played with build diversity that pushes the limits of creativity to the max. So if you're interested in builds from DPS all the way to skill, then don't hesitate to like the video and subscribe if you're new to my channel. Now. Let's get into this beast of a build. All right, we are here. You asked for it and it is here. And this is crazy because I actually never made the build like this. And I don't know why. Well, I actually know why I didn't make a build. I was stuck on the Fox's prayer and contractors combination. And as you know, Fox's prayer and contractors damage to targets out of cover and damage to armor. The only thing that applies to is the oxidizer in the skills department. So I would be doing myself a disservice if I used it with this build utilizing the drone and turret. It would have no effect on it. Only my weapon. So I figured it, it would be best to utilize another strategy in that regard. So this is what I came up with. Technician specialization is what I'm using, of course, for the damage to robotics and skill proxies. You're going to see those mini tanks, robotic dogs getting melted like, oh my god. Those mini tanks were getting melted so fast, and I think those are the probably the most tankiest in the game aside from the Chungas. But it's just crazy how much damage you you deal in legendary missions with this. Let alone, it's a very formidable build to run in the incursion. Now, this is what I was talking about. I said that we were using the sacrifice for the tanker fight and for the right fight, and it's completely viable. We were able to get one phase every time we doused right so that makes it certifiable to me and of course you have to be shifty when you play this because you take 60 percent damage while while using perfect glass cannon but all damage you deal is amplified by 30 percent so your drone your turret your capacitor this scales with your skill tiers so you get 7.5 percent weapon damage for each and you get even more skill damage with the 60 percent you gain right now i'm going to show you the crit stats at the end okay so you can see exactly how much i'm dealing but this build has everything you need to achieve the goals that you desire okay if you want you can pull this out for some extra 25 percent skill damage but i never do and you can also use the banshee 
the grudge with perfect vindictive this gives your team 18 percent crit chance and damage if you kill an enemy with the status effect applied this is how you can get even more crit but the way that i'm gaining crit is with the coyotes mask for my team and for me normally i would have grupo sombra but if you're going to use a build like this you're the crit guy okay the people on the team weren't really using this setup that i'm using okay between 0 and 15 meters you give the whole team and yourself 25 percent crit hit damage between 15 and 25 meters another 10 percent crit damage another 10 percent crit chance and then 25 meters away 25 percent crit chance which i don't think you need unless you don't have any crit okay so this replaces the grupo which gives you 15 percent for the first piece and it benefits your team with pack hunter now in order to benefit the capacitor i'm using the fenris group gloves i don't know why the fenris is so hard to farm with good pieces i cannot get a great fenris bag that has the pieces i want with the talent that i need it's just really difficult i've farmed countdown so much in order to achieve that luckily i was able to get these gloves with crit damage and skill damage now these are the attributes you want on every piece this is why i believe that it's more beneficial to do like a skill hybrid with a high end build rather than a gear set because gear sets only give you one attribute to work with so you can't really diversify as much as you can with this so with this i'm able to maximize my crit and maximize my skill damage and the way to do that is to make sure that you have the brand sets that offer the values you need providence gives you crit chance and crit damage for your attributes so you need three pieces of this to utilize all of it you don't really need the headshot damage but you need the first piece to get to these so you got 10 percent here and i wasn't even able to get <laughs> anything that i needed for these attributes the backpack and the chest piece are going to be the most difficult to farm this because you need it to be perfect you need it to drop with crit chance and damage and vigilance so that you can roll it to the skill tier i mean how lucky do you have to get for that right but it's cool so i'm using vigilance which gives me 25 percent weapon damage and taking damage disabled to buff for four seconds so you're gonna have this and you're not gonna have it you could use combined arms but that's up to you to decide if you want to do more skill damage because combined arms gives you skill damage when you damage an enemy with your weapon or if you want to deal weapon damage it's your preference i just like vigilance in this regard I'm using my weapon a lot, okay? So you got three piece Providence, you got the Fenris group gloves for the AR damage, and finally, you have the Sescaviroba holster for another 10% crit chance. This allows you to get to that crit chance maximum and then roll skill damage and crit damage so you can have crit damage stacked on every piece. This is how you build your crit, okay? Now, look at the stats. 51% critical hit chance to start out with 182% crit damage. Now off the gate, you're gonna get 25% crit damage when you shoot somebody within 10, 15 meters. So this is maxed out already. Then you get another 10% when you're 15 to 25 meters. This is automatically gonna be at 60%, okay? You got 12% damage to armor. You got some health damage going on. This 12% damage to armor comes from the capacitor, which is great. This is awesome. This is another reason why why I loved using the Fox's Prayer Contractors combo because I was such an advocate of that idea. I'm not saying it's not bad. That was the King series that I was referring to before. Now, it's still viable completely because if you want to do like a hybrid where you have the Foxes and Contractors with a setup with like three piece in Empress International and like, you know, something like that. I'm going to show you another build. It's going to it's like the new King. So stay tuned for that. It's more tanky. You don't have to use glass cannon. It's another talent that I'm using for the chest piece, but it is a great build. And I'm hype about it because it's using this whole philosophy, right, of stacking crit damage and skill damage. But I was such an advocate of the contractors, especially because the 8% multiplicative from the contractors stacked with the 12% that you got from the capacitor right here. So you got 20% in total. So it was like this a lot of motivators to do that. And plus, uh, it was a specialized build. I would use the oxidizer with the drone. So you had the damage to targets out of cover and the damage to armor for the oxidizer. And you had the skill damage, skill haste for your drone. But this one, I'm using the drone and turret. Now, you guys saw what this does. The damage distills is pretty crazy. And this is without the buffs. Okay, with the six tier skill build, I'm getting 120% buff. And this is just really great as a deterrent. This and the, and the drone 
it's really great as a deterrent against the ads it's also good to focus all of these on your enemy when you're shooting at them so if you notice when i was shooting the chunga i would aim my drone my turret and ads take them down fast so i believe this is a really great solid build you do not have to be at 726 armor you do not have to run glass cannon you can do it at your own risk but I, but for this i just figured out to go all out the new king build that i'm talking about that i'm going to show you has a lot more survivability than this but as far as this goes that's it for this build i don't have anything else to say about it let me know what you think of it down below in the comments and i implore you to try to run the incursion using skill builds it's really fun and it's a different fresh way to play Comment below and let me know what you think about it. If this helped you out in any way, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to my channel if you're new here. I have nothing else to say. And if you want to check out the Oxidizer build or any other builds, they're right here on the screen. I'll catch you in the next one, fam. Be right out.